hopefully get a black bear, a grizzly, and maybe some new sheds. landed in the mud he said he's not doing that ever again so that was an experience now i gotta go walk back all the way to the roadhouse grab a six-wheeler come back load all this gear and then start setting baits i guess so i think it's gonna be probably quite a while until they can land another plane here so i'm gonna be stuck up here for a while so see how it goes well things went bad from worse um, I'm gonna need snowshoes to get to the roadhouse, so I gotta go back to my little pile of stuff. And I don't think I can get the four wheeler for the six wheeler over here. Too much snow on the road, so I got a whole bunch of gear down here on the airstrip. No other planes can land. I can't drive anywhere. So, here right now I'm kind of just stranded in Alaska. So, uh, hopefully it starts melting soon. Doesn't look like we're gonna be doing much, or at least I won't be doing much for the next couple days. Maybe just packing crap back and forth on foot, so that's gonna take a while. Ugh. Just one of those days. Not a good way to start a trip. But we'll see what happens. Well, I made it back. All that snow, had to hike through. Not fun. And when there's no snow, it's just tundra. Also not fun. So, there's Kong, there's the roadhouse. Some old tracks around here. This is the general in the paddy wagon. A lot more snow. Lovely. Well, I guess I'll drop off what I have and go back and make another load. So, it should be fun. We will see though. Well, at least I got a good view. We'll be bear hunting on that little tree infested hillside with all the snow. So, I think the four wheelers are not going to do me any good because I need to be on the road on this side of all that snow, right where it's all at. And then this one also gets worse and you can't stay on this side, so. No way to get a six wheeler down there, or four wheeler, nothing. So, looks like I'm gonna have a long, long day of shuttling stuff back and forth. It's two miles down there through really deep, waist steep snow and tundra, so. That's that's gonna make for a fun day. Well, hiking along, spotted a moose shed, so pretty sweet. Last year's. Sweet, sweet. Threw it on the pack. Keeps getting worse. Uh, I'm just making loads. Just packed 150 pounds of salt over to my four wheeler. I got it a little closer. Still good walk to where the pile is that the plane dropped on all that stuff. And <laughs> conditions are so bad, the hunt got postponed. So I'm gonna be stuck here by myself till the 19th. It is the 11th, and that is the day the hunt starts. So, yeah, so I'm gonna be out here over a week by myself. So, glad, glad they sent some food, so. <sighs> You're pretty tired. Still got two 50 pound dot bags of dog food. Uh, like 55 to pound tote of meat and uh, their ice chest and then another pack load so 
I've already got like nine miles and probably gonna get at least five more before it's done so I better get to it just get it all off and try to get it back to the cabin so the bears don't get into it and then set up my cozy home for a week made another load packs completely full I got dog food ice chest and this so I don't know maybe I'll try to get both the bags of dog food in one trip and then load all this miscellaneous stuff in one trip and then do a nice chest and a tote and then then call it a shift because I think it's like 7 o'clock and then get dark till 10 so hopefully I get it all back to the cabin before it gets dark and then wish I would have brought another book I thought it was a 10 day hunt but looks like it's gonna be I'll be up here for better part of the month so yeah we'll try to make the most of it hopefully the snow starts melting even if they can't lie in a plane probably to be doing a lot of moose shed hunting and just poking around trying to stay occupied and busy but there's only so much to do but I'm sure I'll figure out something so it's good to go Well, it's day three being here. The river's pretty snowed and iced over, but I think I'm gonna just go back, get everything set up, and then I'm gonna strap the whole bait barrel to my pack, fill the dog food, make the three mile walk over to set it. And by the time it melts, hopefully there'll be bears coming to it. You know, I'm just watching a herd of buffalo about 300 yards from me up this riverbed, so. Yeah, yesterday I didn't check in, not very exciting day, just poking around, found a oh, uh, moose kill from a shedded out bowl, so, but other than that, nothing too exciting. Well guys, I just found my first ever brown moose paddle. Nothing big, but I'll let you see. Super hard to see in this brush. Pretty sweet. Broken tine right there. Oh, that's awesome. Hopefully we can find some more. Well, still hiking. Another moose shed, older one. Let you see. There it is. Pretty sweet. Hopefully, we can find some more browns. Well, that's gonna be my pack load. That barrel's full of dog food, so. And we got a long ways to go. In case you're wondering what I gotta hike through to get there. This snow's not too deep, only up to my kneecaps, but that tundra is like walking on a wet sponge, so. We're a little more than a third of the way there. I'll let you know when we get there. Well, charging through this brush trying to find a moose shed and I just stumbled across my first caribou shed. It looks like a little old one, but pretty cool. So, pick that up for you. Pretty sweet. on these bison bison tracks. Pretty crazy. Well that's the stack so far. Hopefully we get it a little bigger. Snow is melting like crazy so that is definitely a good sign. Everything's looking good. Looking up so we can go. Well it's day four or five already foot track but walking through the tundra Got a moose shed, so looks like just an old one. Cute little thing. Throw it on the pack. So you can wade through more of this stuff and find another one. Well, I gotta dig a path through that snow. Doesn't look that deep. 
to make a four-wheeler pass so the plane can land and I can pick up all the gear. So that's what we're doing today. Oh well, guys, second brown moose shed. Can't tell if it's the other side, it might be, but pretty sweet, so I'll let you see. There it is. Awesome. Just charging through. Got another shed. Looks like another tiny caribou shed, so pretty sweet. We'll take it. Look at that little thing. If you look close, those four little white dots are four rams, so pretty cool to see them. I wish I had my scope, I could get you guys video, but yeah, the top one looks like a decent ram from what I can see with my binos, so just hiking around, pretty cool. So just got that one little shed, but just seeing what's out here, pretty cool. Well, got another one. It's not brown, but it's moose shed. Hard to see in this stuff like an old one really old one would have been a cool cool shed kind of wavy definitely been sitting there for a while sweet sweet <laughs> yeah beautiful day I'll try to find another one before we go back to camp well back here at camp brown I just found that's yesterday's definitely call that a set so pretty sweet start. Hopefully we can get into more browns. Stay tuned. Just hiking down and brown moose shed. Looks like I got a little chewed in the back but we will take it. Pretty sweet. I'll get some pictures and then I'll do a video for you. Man it's crazy how fast these things get chewed up. Pretty sweet though. Throw the first one of the day, throw it on the pack, and hopefully we'll find some more. Just getting to the area I want to get. Moose shed. Maybe that one will stay there. Walking through some sort. Oh man. It's in there deep. I'll try to dig it up and let you see. Well, I don't think I'm gonna get that moose shit out. Ground's frozen, it's deep, it's old anyway, so starting to snow, we're gonna start walking out. Some buffalo. really sure what day it is I think it's six or something but hike along in the tundra caribou shed best one of the trip so far so that's sweet we'll pick it up just another littler one but better than what we've been finding pretty sweet awesome awesome maybe there'll be some more around here We'll see, a little new country today. Not too far, we were just going over towards those hills yesterday and the day before, but new country, see how it goes. Well, got me a porcupine. Saving sheds, one porcupine at a time. So he won't be chewing on any for a while. 
but back to camp. Might go for another hike and check that bear bait we set. Well guys, I went for a solo hike without the pack and might have been a mistake. I just found a side-by-side -side set of moose sheds and they look like pretty good ones. I can just barely see them, but there's definitely two there. So let's, I'll go check them out. Oh man, there they are. Oh, that's awesome. That might be my biggest moose shed ever. Definitely. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna do the best I can to set something up to get the pickup video on these, but that is awesome. Oh, guys. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that is a big shed. Oh, that is probably coolest shed I've ever found and the biggest. Oh my god. Here's the other side. Oh my gosh. Just beautiful. Not chewed up for being here this long. I just I don't even know what to say. Maybe I can get them up. Oh man. Can't even describe how exciting this is for me. It's awesome. Uh. Well, there's today's haul. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. I don't know if I'll be able to get a picture with all the sheds because I'm gonna fly out. All the others are down at the airstrip. I'm gonna fly out when the clients fly in. So I don't know if I'll get a picture of them all together, but pretty awesome. Yeah, hopefully we'll go get a bear now. So guys haven't checked in in a few days i'm not sure what day it is but one of our client teach got a bear the father got a grizzly and the son got a black bear so they each have one more bear tag to fill and then i think we got seven more days left of being here so try to make the most of it found another moose shed and a little caribou shed and 
One of the other guys found a nice shed, so I'll show you those, all that stuff when I can. But other than that, same old, same old. Pretty cool up here. A little hard to sleep when the sun rises at like 1.30 in the morning, but other than that, it's been a pretty fun trip. Looks like it's gonna continue to be that way, so see how it goes. Well, I think I got a, another moose shed I'm gonna pipe down and see, so a little ways away. Talk to you guys when I get closer. Walking up to that moose shed. Not too bad. Pretty cool little thing. Pretty sweet. Take that one back up there. Another brown moose shed right off the road. Pretty sweet. Oh, pretty sweet. Awesome. been a while since I checked in just been super busy getting hunters we got a grizzly and a black bear down so found a few moose sheds I didn't get a chance to video some just quick videos because I had to get rolling so matched up a decent brown set of moose sheds that one of the other guides found so I'll show you that we got one more big one we're gonna try to match up tomorrow and then or the next day I only got like three days left so we'll try to make the most of it hopefully see one more bear and then if we find any moose sheds. But it's been a little good few days been cutting road, just glassing, seeing everything there is under the sun. We got caribou and moose and bison, so and we've seen a bunch of rams, so that was pretty cool. There's that sweet brown set. I found the left side, Jeff found the right side. That's that one I glassed up. That's a big one. I'm gonna try to match up hopefully tomorrow. We'll see how it goes and then two more little browns so we got a bunch more uh, back at the strip and then some already flown back to Anchorage so we're gonna keep moving around this is our little cabin but hopefully find something else well guys I'm at my camp at my cabin I just glassed up a moose shed from camp so I'll show you where it's at and then probably tomorrow or sometime I'll go get it if you look that middle saddle there's a long streak of snow going down it that moose shed is just to the left so we'll try to get it sometime
Well guys, just glassing, trying to find a bear that I had found last night. I watched it till like 11 o'clock and then went back, but it's not popping up, but got a moose shed. Looks like it could be a good one. That last one I glassed up, haven't had a chance to get it. Might not be the best video of the whole ordeal here because just been going, going, going. Not a lot of time to set stuff up or really video a whole lot, so. But we got some good bits and pieces. We'll try to get this moose shed, so it looks like it's going to be a decent one. We got a couple other ones I didn't get a chance to video. I found a, there's an old chalky set moose sheds that we just stalking a bear so we couldn't take pictures or nothing. They're still up there, so we're going to be leaving a few up here in the hills, but try to get better ones home if I can. So we'll see, see what we see, and then we got two or so more days here we're gonna go up to the next camp hopefully find a bear but other than that it's been a pretty good trip no complaints so be hard to go home hard to leave it but pretty pretty good time so we'll go try to pick up this moose shed as soon as we can hopefully it doesn't stay there and then pack all our stuff and then hit the road until next time, I'll be back in a couple months, so it won't be bad. There's that moose shed. It's right in there. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away. That bear was up that big canyon on the right side. There's a couple sheep on the top. pretty scenic little spot so see if we can glass up anymore another black bear got another grizzly down over there in the flats We're sitting on this one we got three bears killed now and this could be the fourth one so I'm gonna sit on it hopefully those guys get done skinning soon stop it through the brush Trying to find a moose shed. I glass across two sheets to a ram head. So that's crazy. Look at that ancient sheet. The head and horns are up here. Well, strapped it to my little day pack I took up here. See how it rides. <laughs> See, I can't believe that was right there. Old, old dead head, but I'll pack it out. It's the first stall sheep dead head I've ever found. So that's pretty cool. So now I just gotta get out of here. Walking up on that moose shed. Looks like a dandy brownie. That is awesome. Long time to be able to pick up video or anything, but that is a big shed. There's a bear in front of me I'm trying to push out, so but I will take that. See if we can match him up. Walking in. Another new shed. Pretty sweet. What's going on? We gotta get out of here. Oh, that's pretty good to back. Just glassed up another, looks like a brown moose shed down low. See if we'll get a chance to get it. I don't know. 
running out of time, but brownie, so that's pretty sweet. We can go get it. I'll show you guys and pick it up. Now I just gotta figure out how to get these home, or the good ones anyway, so. Walking up to that last brownie I glassed. Cute little guy. Pretty cool. Just gotta match up that big one now. Prehistoric paddles. Pretty cool. Dug them up out of the ground. Not a bad shed. Pretty crazy. I'm glad Jeff's good as a long shot. Man, he's holding. He's holding pretty tight, not moving very tight. I think they got. A little bit of a slight breeze blowing, and my grizzly guide is right here on his binoculars. Good job, dude. Good shot. I don't know. I mean, we shot up that. See that big rock knob way up there? He was just sitting on the top of that rock knob about 895 yards up there. No, actually, he was a lot closer down here about 350 up the hill. Got a little afternoon off, trying to match up that big brown I found. Just stumbled on another one, so just see the points, but we'll walk up to it. Looks like he was a nice one at one time. Been laying there a while. Pretty sweet, though. I don't know if we'll pack it around, but... We'll stash it somewhere and if we come back this way, might pick it up. Just hiking along and found an ancient set of moose paddles. That's pretty cool. I think those will stay right where they're at, but pretty neat to see. Just got home, there's the three new ones I got. I brought those back and then two little browns, but now I got a good little collection of moose sheds. Hopefully it keeps growing, but yeah, back home, everything's green and beautiful here, so good time to be back.